After completing this section you will be able to Explain the objectives of service assurance Describe different service assurance functions, fault management, performance management, service quality management and problem handling Service assurance is a vertical end-end -end process grouping responsible for the execution of proactive and reactive maintenance activities to ensure that services provided to customers are continuously available and performing to SLA or COAS performance levels. It performs continuous resource status and performance monitoring to proactively detect possible failures. It collects performance data and analyzes them to identify potential problems and resolve them without impact to the customer. This process manages the SLAs and reports service performance to the customer. It receives trouble reports from the customer, informs the customer of the trouble status, and ensures restoration and repair, as well as ensuring a delighted customer. To retain customers, to provide reliable services, and optimize operational costs, a service provider has various worries, which they want to solve through integrated service assurance solution. Service provider worries include How to maintain and manage IT infrastructure that is, all the devices, application, etc. through single console. How to pinpoint root cause of network problem in real time. What is the impact of the network event occurred? How to automate the quality of service, SLA calculation and adjust billing. How to enable less skilled operators to perform routine network management tasks. How to reduce network operational costs. Service provider gets various benefits from service assurance solution, for managing its complex infrastructure. Benefits includes No downtime and rapid response in case of any network issues. No loss and theft of data. Provides integrated management console. Service Assurance System proactively monitor services. It helps streamlining and automating business processes. It provides adaptability to new service rollout. It performs accurate quality of service slash SLA analysis. Service Assurance results in low OPEX and high ROI. Element Management System EMS interacts with the devices directly, with the help of SNMP, TO1 or standard or proprietary interfaces. It is a layer between Network Element and Network Management System NMS. Service Assurance helps an OC operator in getting a consolidated view of the network. Hence, a user need not track for a fault in multiple Element Management System. He gets a centralized view to diagnose the fault. Various aspects of service assurance system are fault management, performance management, service quality management and problem handling. Fault management system receives and gather the alert from various sources and consolidate it into a single screen to be viewed by a user or operator. It correlates the event with various data, and also enrich it with additional information, example, location, service, customer etc. It helps an operator in identifying, diagnosing, and escalating the problem occurred in their network consisting of heterogeneous devices, application, and database. Performance management system generally comprises of data collector, data processing engine, database, 
scheduler and reporting modules. Data collector interface with the devices directly or through the EMS, and gather the usage-related information. Data processing engine receive this data from the various data collector, and after processing it stores and collate the data into a single database. Then, using the reporting module, one can extract this collated data, and present it in desirable format. They can view online and historical reports. These reports help service provider in analyzing the behavior of network and services, and can accordingly take a corrective action. Service quality or QoS management goes in side by side with fault management and performance management, wherein the performance data is gathered using the data collectors and is baselined over a time. QoS or quality of service is the idea that transmission rates, error rates, and other characteristics can be measured, improved, and to some extent, guaranteed in advance. QoS management system helps the service provider to measure the quality of link or service provided or committed to a customer. One can also set the threshold for the performance parameters, so that system can maintain a record of how many times the QoS was violated and how long the QoS was violated. SLAs offer service providers the ability to distinguish themselves from the competition in today's volatile market. A service level agreement, SLA, is a contract between a network service provider and an end customer that specifies, usually in measurable terms, what services the network service provider will furnish. Some metrics that SLAs may specify include what percentage of the time services will be available, specific performance benchmarks to which actual performance will be periodically compared, the schedule for notification in advance of network changes that may affect users, help desk response time for various classes of problems, etc. Therefore, service quality management summarized consist of data collection, fault, performance and QoS data, data processing and correlation, QoS data analysis, QoS and Threshold Violation Verification SLA Violation, Verification and Analysis Notification and Reporting Problem Handling System helps in initiating, tracking, and closing the trouble tickets. These trouble tickets can be either network-driven or customer-driven. Network-driven trouble tickets are generally raised through the fault management system, whereas customer-driven trouble ticket are raised either through telephone, email or web. This completes the module. Click Next Topic from Navigation Menu.